My name is Tyler Graham. Our farm is uh, north of Lamont, Alberta. It's a mixed grain and cattle farm. We grow mainly canola, wheat, barley, and peas. I'm a Pioneer Hybrid sales representative, so I have a local base of customers that I uh, service Pioneer products and tools, agronomic information to. In our local area here, growers typically swath their canola. There's a lot of interest in straight cutting as guys get uh, equipment that's capable of doing it. I'd say, yeah, about 20% of guys are straight cutting or, or looking at straight cutting seriously. My name's Tim Weems. I'm the sales rep out of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. The number of growers straight cutting canola, right now it's probably a relatively small number. This is pretty new technology, but it's grown, you know, it's probably up to maybe 10% of the growers are now doing straight cutting only. Uh, but it's looks like it's something that growers really want to look into doing more of. So I see it increasing quite a bit in the next few years. We were interested in planting the Pioneer Protector Harvest Max hybrid just uh, because we seem to be using the swather less and less every year. Um, the combine and the straight cut header, they're all uh, you know upgraded and newer and we're very comfortable straight cutting crops. So we really want to see how canola can fit into that where maybe we can save some some time and, and dollars on the swather and just go in if we have a nice crop and straight cut some canola. The Protector Harvest Max technology, it, uh, it provides pod shatter resistance and pod drop resistance. So when you grow it in a field, if you get some challenging conditions, like we had this spring, uh, we had some frost issues, a whole bunch of different things that cause very uneven poor emergence so you have a very variable crop when it comes to swath timing. So you just have that uh, peace of mind or risk management that uh, you know if you can wait a little bit on the greener spots you're going to have less shelling on your riper spots and therefore across your whole field you'll, you'll be able to yield more. Hi I'm Doug Moisey, I'm the DuPont Pioneer Agronomist for Central Alberta. I come from the St. Paul area, a little town called Maleg, and I'm the agronomist for uh, this territory that we're standing in the field today. A lot of the advantages to growing Pioneer Protector in the Harvest Max is going to allow guys that opportunity that if they do decide that they do want to start looking at straight cutting as an option as part of maybe looking at cost reduction or manpower savings or just because of the way harvest is going this year. There's that opportunity for producers to look at this product as another management tool in their harvest situation. As well too, is it just comes down to swathing. A lot of the crops can come into time to swath at, the, at all at the same time. And if a guy has a lot of acres, this gives us opportunity for a guy to swath this one on a little bit on the later side. And therefore allowing again to maximize yield, reduce green seed, reduce shattering, all the other key benefits that we've previously discussed. So this does have some opportunities and some options for guys in our area to just to expand their harvest window and to basically take some of the pressures off that are that come at the time of swathing. So I think the Protector Harvest Max offers farmers a lot of flexibility. It's got the option to straight cut if the conditions arise. If it isn't quite the right fit for straight cutting, it's still a very good option to swath, being able to swath it later stretch out their swather window, take some pressure off the swather at a really busy time of the year. I'm Wade Clark, I'm the area sales manager for Saskatchewan for DuPont Pioneer. Our staff and our sales reps have done a really good job of positioning this product and testing it over lots of different, um, lots of different scenarios, treating it as a traditional hybrid or uh, letting it stand until it's a little bit more mature or even right to straight harvest. My name is April Nickel. I'm an account manager with DuPont Pioneer. Uh, I'm from Coppell, Saskatchewan, and I cover the southeast part of Saskatchewan with DuPont Pioneer. Uh, on our own farm, we did grow Pioneer Protector Harvest Max uh, this year. Um, I feel like the benefits of that variety or that trait are really uh, in the flexibility of harvest. It gives you a lot of flexibility in making different decisions, um, whether you want to swath that variety late or whether you want to straight cut it, uh, you really have a choice. 
um, the feedback I've received in the field from the customers that have grown Pioneer Protector Harvest Max would be similar. Uh, they really enjoy the flexibility of the product. Uh, ultimately, their first comment is always how well it yields. Um, it's a very consistent variety. Um, the feedback from the customers in general has been uh, how uh, positive their yield experience has been compared to other varieties they've been growing, how consistent it's been and how surprised they are when they do go into the field at um, what a yield advantage they're seeing from the Pioneer Protector Harvest Max uh, varieties. Um, and then ultimately they really love the straight cutting option. Hi, my name is Bernie Kodlak and uh, we live in uh, Lamont County which is about 50 miles northeast of Edmonton and today we did a field trial on uh, the new Pioneer straight cut canola. We are uh, really interested in straight cutting uh, canola because it really saves a lot of uh, time, labor, and, and uh, it, it really fits into the operation really well. The standability has been excellent. I think that's probably the biggest surprise leaving a variety that um, in the field that long. I mean, it's a relatively new concept for our farmers or our producers to think about um, and they all did it with a little bit of nervousness and when they when the combines roll in their their comments are always how well it stood how well it's feeding through the combine and that there really is not a significant amount of pod loss if any. The other key benefits you're going to see with 46M34 uh, typically is, is that if you have reduced shattering which is typically you see in most canola crops when you're swathing it could be one to ten percent Losses just from the swathing process because of the increased shatterability of that swathing process, that decreased shattering that could occur is actually going to reduce your losses that may be on the ground. Remembering that 100 seeds per square foot on the ground is about a bushel an acre and so if you can put that in the bin that's more profitability for you. The other thing is too is come next year. A lot of people don't think about what's going to happen in the following year. In the following year, if you have reduced shatter losses, that means less weed seeds next year and canola becomes that weed and so therefore your volunteer issues become just that much less. So far what we're seeing this year is we're seeing really good results as far as standability, uh, a good pod set, we've been able to withstand the drought in a lot of areas as much as possible. Uh, we're still seeing some issues that everybody else is seeing is that we are seeing other stresses because of the heat and the lack of moisture. But as far as performing this well this year, it's come up very vigorous out of the ground, it's covered ground and it's nice even maturity in a lot of fields this year. So Protector Harvest Max really performed well this year. We left some stuff out in the field, you know, way beyond when we should have uh, probably been optimal combining and still really excellent results of being able to hold on to the pods, be you know, easy to combine, good standability, and excellent performance. As we get more and more varieties, it's a really good option to look at for some risk management. And uh, there's gonna be more data available for straight cutting and uh, how these products perform and how to, to best manage them. So just looking at the, the crop we have, just the fact that there's no lodging in it, it's a nice tight potting zone. So it's, it's easy to pick up and, and harvest. We're doing uh, test trials with a uh, uh, new Pioneer variety. And uh, we tried straight cut and for the first time this year and it's working really well. The crop stood really well, threshed very easy and yielded great. We brought this product to market because, because it yielded really good. That was the first thing. And so we've, we've tried it under lots of different uh, harvest scenarios and it's, it's a monster. It's a top yielding product uh, no matter how we treat it. It's at the very top end of, of any of the trials that we've done compared to not only our own products but our, our competitors. So um, Harvest Max M34 is, is, a, is a top yielder um, no matter how you treat it at harvest.